I love Lucy Pyre. The dark truth that every streamer knows. We are all parasocial. Oh, that is so fucking true. The streamers are parasocial. I would argue that streamers are more parasocial than viewers. <laughs> The year is 2023. Anime is officially year. real. You go on YouTube, there's true. a funny- True, 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 true. Anime is real. I'm right here. I'm alive. I am an anime girl. Sphere me. Moving on. Girl who snorts Red Bull. You go on Twitch, I you get her. cat girls. I, I, I love her, by the way. Uh, you go on YouTube, there's uh, a funny girl. What was her name? Uh... Punkalopi? Punkalop? I, I, oh, I, uh, Punkalopi, I think. I love her. I loved her shorts when they were popping off, man. Punkalopi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fucking loved her shorts when they were popping off, man. Fucking amazing. Uh. Kinda sent me down the VTuber rabbit hole, to be honest. <laughs> Snorts Red Bull. You go on Twitch, you get cat girls who love Jesus. You go on Twitter. Yes. Anime girls are fighting over whether having huge fat tootie jugs is woke or not. You open your favorite game. Even more anime. Anime girls going anime ooh, girls. in voice chat. Your afternoon snack? F*** you, it's an anime girl too. There's no Hell winning yeah. this war. There's no turning back the clock. You can't run from yep. the moe. You can't hide from the kawaii sugoi desune. But wait, yep. you can hear a whisper in the darkness. The calm before the storm. The key to destroying this epidemic. Turns out those anime girls are problematic. And they're hiding... We are? Oh, oh no, she's, she's, ex she's exposing my secrets. I'm not problematic, I promise. I just apologized. I literally just made an apology video. <laughs> a dark secret, a weapon they aim to enslave humanity with. It's called being parasocial. Now the most important thing to know about being parasocial but is that it wasn't a real thing before VTubers hit the market. They yeah, invest... never. Never. Never existed before that. Just we like invented Sims it. Just weren't real before women started exactly. streaming. Am I right, XQC, Asmund Gold, Ludwig, on viewers? You can't be on the internet for very long without someone mentioning the term. You breathe incorrectly and someone will accuse you of being it. Because in this economy, daring to enjoy something is a sin that cannot go unpunished. <laughs> what, you like? Beautiful. What a beautiful place. Oh my god. I just realized those are all piss bottles in the bag. Bro, you can't do that. You can't put the piss bottles on the desk. You gotta have them on the floor. Oh, you gotta have the piss bottles on the floor. If you have them on the desk, you... you you're gonna destroy your entire setup. At least put the cap on? Yeah, also should put the cap on. But honestly, the... The smell is probably gonna kill everything and anything that comes around it, so... It's like an extra layer of protection, right? Like some streamer girl's content. <laughs> I bet you're one of those parasocial Andes who wishes she was your girlfriend. By the way, when I start every day with PewDiePie's videos before heading to work... <laughs> that's completely different from whatever... Not anymore. Nowadays it's Asmund Gold. What you're doing, I'm not parasocial at all. I've watched him since I was nine and his content just cheers me up, okay? Yeah. PewDiePie's content nowadays is really wholesome, man. Have you all seen his latest art stuff? Like, he was drawing every single day for a year. The improvement is huge. As I've said, anyone can learn to draw. Yes, indeed. Pick up a pencil. Everyone is parasocial, the... and I do mean everyone. The only way to escape the label is to never turn on a computer or TV again and relocate to Antarctica. Because let's not yes. get it twisted. By pure definition, if you feel that you have a relationship with a media personality or even a fictional character, you are participating in a parasocial relationship. Wait, wait, wait. Fictional character. I was- I'm- I'm parasocial towards Baldur's Gate 3 characters. Got it. Got it! I'm very parasocial towards Baldur's Gate 3 characters in that case. <laughs> like, how can you not be? Or even a fictional character, you are participating in a parasocial relationship. Now hold on, Lucy, stop right there. Chet, are you fictional? Are you fictional, chat? <laughs> Are you all in my head? Are you all in my head? Are you disappearing if I take my meds? 
I am inside your walls, very real. <laughs> Don't take your meds, Yenna. <laughs> I will throw those meds away! No longer show my non-illusions de-exist. Yes. How did you know? Wake up, kids, wake up. The accident was 14 years ago. We need you back, please. <laughs> Give them to us. We don't exist outside of stream, so probably fictional. Yeah, same for me, right? Like, I only spawn in whenever I have to stream. Once a stream is done, I, like, despawn. <laughs> it yeah, wasn't I don't fault. feel like I have a relationship with them. Clearly, I'm aware that I'm not their lover, unfortunately. So to call me parasocial, well, all I have to say is... Take your meds, you whore. <laughs> Do you really think it's that easy to escape the parasocial? Let me give you an example. How many people slammed the last season of Game of Thrones, rightfully so, for being Oh yeah, fuck that dumpster? one. Fuck the last season of Game of Thrones, man. God, it's so bad. Because the writing was done all awfully, man. Fucking, they rushed it. Like, I don't mind that Daenerys went bad. I have no issue with that. The way they handled it was bad. Fire. And how many videos were made about the fictional character Daenerys claiming that her actions were quote out of character and she would never do such a thing? How would these people even she know would. it was out of character if they didn't feel like they knew her? on some subconscious level. Gamers, we have to be honest with ourselves. If you've ever felt sadness upon seeing your favorite character die, or you've ever been disappointed- Oh, about the Daenerys thing, she definitely would do something like that, but they didn't give her enough time to develop it. When your favorite content creator stops uploading, then yes, you're most likely somewhat parasocial. But wait, yeah, if you sure. click off the video, I'm not here to say that's a bad thing. In fact, I'm gonna play devil's advocate and say it can be a really, really good thing sometimes. And I wanna take some heat off of the viewers as Shagami! well, because when it comes to being parasocial, it starts with the source. That's right, streamers, I'm coming for your ass. And also my own ass. I just think ass is pretty neat, I guess. <laughs> True. True, 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 true. I enjoy slapping ass. <laughs> Anyone out there make fun of Brittany after all she's been through? You're the so view is alone! Being parasocial is usually attributed as the cause for some of the worst sh you've ever seen in your life. The Vox Paradox, the Russian Soviet Union, the oh, God. piss drinking. Uh, that's right. The Wait, I didn't know this one. Apple juice pets drinking. If you listen I... to I don't know this one. The internet tell it parasocial people are stalkers. Fans who are on the edge. Just one mistake away from going full anti and demanding you to rape their dick pics. Sorry, that got a little bit too specific. But... If someone sends you a dick pic, laugh at it. Just laugh at it. Well, I. I, I doubt anyone will send you guys a dick pic, to be honest. I, I'm more like talking about the 1%. Sorry, I have like a 3 to 4% female viewer base now. I'm talking about the 3 to 4% viewer base right now. The 3 to 4% female viewer base. If someone sends you a dick pic, laugh at it. Fucking laugh in his face. Make fun of it. Destroy his ego. And if he sends you that, then, well, it's a loss. Then you gotta accept the feat. You, you really just gotta def uh, accept defeat if they are into humiliation. Then I'm sorry, you got outplayed. GG, it's over. <laughs> there's, there's nothing else you can do, really, in that case. <laughs> Except feet. No! Defeat! <laughs> defeat! The way I see it, stalkers and bad people have existed long before the internet and will yes. continue to do so. And slapping yes. the label parasocial on them sort of takes the bite out of it. As if I'm somehow supposed to rank someone who's sending decapitated Barbie dolls to a streamer the same way I rank someone who redeems fart reverb five times per stream. <laughs> because really, to condemn all forms of parasocial rela- What are those?! <laughs> What are those? How do you stand up straight with those? First time seeing Milky? Yeah! What the fuck? 
Milky is right! Fucking Milky is right there! What the fuck? The model is not an actual- What the- I thought Cinder had a huge booba. Oh, Shy Lily, what the fuck are those? Holy shit. Those in IRL, I I'd get breast reduction. <laughs> if I had those IRL, I'd get breast reduction. I'm sorry, man. Like that that's that's a backbreaker. That's that's just no. Nuh uh. No, no, no thanks. <laughs> those need to weaponize it. <laughs> Bro, that reminds me. That reminds me of the fucking woman who was in um freaking in the talent show, fuck yeah, I forgot what the fucking talent show is called, man. But then the talent show was fucking squishing fucking melons and uh, cans with her boobs. You ever see that one? I don't think I can show that on stream. I don't, I don't, I don't think that will get me banned. But holy shit, you guys ever see that one? Jesus fucking Christ, man. Holy shit. Um. By the way, uh, get me sidetracked a little. Mm. She needs a wheelbarrow to put those honkers in when she gets older. Oh my god. Just like Randy needs a wheelbarrow for his uh, huge fucking bolts, man. <laughs> Imagine her in high school of the dead. Jesus Christ. Moving on! Relationships is to demand that people not feel anything. That people somehow tune into a certain type of content every day and then leave with no parts of themselves changed. Now, whether that part is your heart getting warm or your dick popping a dent, that's a whole other story. And I think that <laughs> any artist or creator would say that detachment is not what they want out of their audience. They want you to feel something. They want their work to me- I mean, yeah, we want to entertain people. I, I hope that that's- the case for most people. <laughs> I hope that that's the main goal for most people. Like, I enjoy entertaining. Even though I'm very awkward and I kind of suck at it, but I'm, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm learning. I am learning. I'm learning. I want to be an entertainer. Am I entertaining, chat? I mean, you guys wouldn't be here if I wasn't entertaining, right? 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 I'm entertaining, right? 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 Great, now I'm self-conscious. Mm. Mm. Oh, we are here for Hexagon. <laughs> mean more than idle entertainment. If they can't get some type of emotional reaction out of you, then they think they must be doing something wrong. See, no one thinks that an author is an asshole for writing a story that makes them cry. No one feels yeah. ashamed to admit that they cried while watching something like Up yeah. either. But when it comes to streamers and YouTubers, there's oh this weird. God. The 3D Pepe. Sense of shame and stigma, as if feeling attached to that person is morally wrong. But I can't help but think that if you feel attached to someone that you watch every day, you're just normal. You're completely fine! And to be honest, the types of people that participate in harassment and stalking would still do so, no matter what the target does. Most of the things yeah. that people call parasocial just seem really sweet in my eyes. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm the problem. The psychopath, so to speak. No, we streamers are definitely parasocial. I feel like, usually, streamers are way more parasocial than a chatter. Like, if a, like if a chatter behaves completely normal, I think the streamers are way more parasocial than your average chatter. Because, I mean, we're nothing without you guys, right? <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta care for you. One of us can fix her. <laughs> like... You know? It's, it's... Will you remember us? Of course. Of course. I bet streamers wonder where I was if I didn't show up for weeks. Aww. See? But when I see fans branding together to make something nice for their favorite streamer, the word parasocial never comes to my mind. It just makes me smile. I mean, yeah. holy f humans are just so cute. Of course. <laughs> Of course, I'm not saying that getting overly obsessed with something is a good thing. Oh, yeah, that goes for anything in life, media, personality, yeah. or otherwise. And if you're really everything in moderation. Really want to point fingers at someone? Then whew, do I have some news for you? Because this parasocial accusation is a psyops, a cover-up for the true culprits at hand, the people who lurk in the shadows, who oh. reap all the rewards and none oh. of the blame. Who? Streamers. What's up, gamer boys? It's time to get your. Fuck. Again, it's me. 
Again! I'm the issue! Chat, I think I should get, um, those sound pads for the wall. Because sometimes I can hear my own sound echoing on the wall. Like it's tiny echo ring. And I don't want the neighbors to call the cops on me because I'm too loud and I always stream late. Yeah, 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 I should get some. And yeah, I don't like her either. I, I don't like her either. What was her name again? Oh, shit, shit, shit. Uh, Belle Delphine, yeah. Game with Gal, Bathwater. What if I told you that creators can be just as parasocial as their Kaku, audience, hey. if not more so? I mean, 100%. I'm not gonna point any fingers because one, I don't know. I mean, this image literally just pointed fingers at me. <laughs> Plus their audience, if not more so. I mean, I'm not- <laughs> It's literally pointing in my direction. Like, literally. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, it's right here. It's right here. It's right me. He's pointing at me, Chad. I'm the problem. I'm the problem. I'm not gonna point any fingers because one, I don't know what's going on in other people's heads, and two, I don't want to stir sh. But I think I've established that I don't think being parasocial is the boogeyman everyone makes it out to be. Even so, that doesn't give me the right to put anyone else under fire, accidentally or not. So you know what? I'm gonna put myself on the stake for Yo. you. Nail myself to the golden arches. <laughs> Thank you, Lucy Summer. Thank you. It's like Jesus on the cross. I am parasocial. Yes. Confirmed problematic streamer. <laughs> and the funny oh thing boy. is, I don't know how I'm expected not to be. Multiple days a week, I come online to the same people. I talk with them. I laugh with them. Yeah. I entertain them. Yeah. And hell, they entertain me too. I read their yeah. comments. I see their encouragement. And I feel less alone. In my case, yeah. It probably doesn't help that I'm pretty bad at making friends as is, so having Same. a chat that genuinely wants to talk to me is such a fresh, nice feeling that I can't help but feel somewhat attached. I She's just like me, for real, for real. <laughs> uh, no, absolutely fucking relatable. I know I can't be the only streamer who feels this way. I also no, want to I, I, I do. admit that streamers have no idea who you are. Sure, if you lurk and never post a single message, yeah, that's probably the case, but if you're frequent chatter unless the community is bigger than a billionaire's overseas bank account they probably recognize you and yeah right now i recognize everyone on chat man like the regulars they're, 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 they're the bread and butter of the community very very happy to see them always show up kids is addicted to chat oh boy pack it in guys it's over kids is addicted time for the rehabilitation it's all very rehabilitation stream? That's not even cope, it's a fact of life. If a streamer interacts with you enough times, they start to remember your username and the gist of how you type. Go figure. I'm not saying they're yeah. your best friend or anything, but that's not quite the same as having no idea you exist, does it? Like many other streamers, I recognize usernames. I have inside jokes with my community. I find Yay. myself thinking things like, Oh, so-and-so will say something if I do this. Or, you know, they'll probably react this way if I make another joke about- I am not that deep in the sauce. I'm not that deep in the sauce. Uh, Lucy? <laughs> that's, that's, that's... Uh, <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Chill. My huge 600 pound cuff. And yeah, I also notice when certain chatters are missing, when it's been a while since I saw a certain username yeah. pop up in the chat. And Yeah, I miss the OG OGs, man. And when I say OG OGs, it's the ones that were here before the YouTube days. Like, the ones that were here, um, freaking January to March. I remember them. They're not here anymore. Search. Which, I don't mean, like, I'm not, like, mad or anything when people, like, move on. It's just, like, people move on at one point, I don't know. I, I've had plenty of friends move on from me, and I've moved on from other people, it's normal. It's still a little bit saddening to, like, uh, not having them come around anymore, you know? You, like, it's like with life, you start missing a person if you were fond of, of them. Kind of situation. See, I'm parasocial. 
That can genuinely make me feel a little pang of sadness. Even though it is one-sided. Even though the other person may have forgotten about me. Which means, yes, I am parasocial. Self-diagnosed. But don't get it twisted. That's not me saying I'm oh, so BFF special. I'm different from other streamers. Look at me. I actually <laughs> think I'm the rule and not the exception. Because this yes. is a really weird career. Agreed. And a oh lot of God. it is uncharted territory. Because Bit again. an actress goes and films her movie in spurts and doesn't interrupt with the viewers until later, if she decides to at all. Streamer interactions are real-time in the moment with the threat of getting one guide always waiting around the corner. I think it would be really difficult to emotionally distance yourself from something that's just so close. And for me, having this relationship with my chat has been a 99% positive experience. Sure, weird shit happens now and then, yeah. but if you deal with it quickly and set basic boundaries, then I guarantee you viewers yeah. will understand. Yep, 100%. Like, for example, getting rid of shitters in the chat. Like, uh, I can name one real good example for this, which is when I'm, like, randomly fucking singing, right? Some fucking random karaoke fucking garbage. Uh, at one point, we had a day where everyone was just spamming, Oh, my ear is so muted! Don't sing! Tell me when it's over! Blah, 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 blah. And I told everyone to fuck off! And I told everyone to fuck off! <laughs> oh yeah, that's, you suck spam. That got annoying at one point, man. Either way. Either way. But, uh, yeah. Just, you gotta moderate your uh, viewer base. You gotta moderate chat. Because if you're loud suckers in the chat, it will alienate the people that actually care about the community. So you gotta moderate it. Tell, tell fuckers to fuck off. You know? That way you keep the people around that actually care about your content. Simple. You shouldn't want to keep a viewer around just for the sake of keeping a viewer around. Because again, it will just alienate more people later on and your chat will become a shit show. Simple as. Only the ones that can hide their power levels can stay true. So where does this leave us? You just said you're parasocial. And everyone on the internet tells me that being parasocial makes you the scum of the earth. Just tell me where to point the pitchfork streamer. Well, what if I said it's somewhere in the... Part three! Oh my god, High School Musical. The middle, we're all in this together. <laughs> we're all in this together. Ba -dum -dum, da -da -dum, I'll be honest da -da -dum. with you, gamer. I struggled like a mother with this script. The reason this is coming out late January and not early January is because I fought with myself so, so hard over whether I should be making it or not in the first place. I mean, I'm far from the yeah. first person to talk about the term or to imply parasocial relationships aren't inherently bad. I'm not even the first person to tackle it from a VTubing perspective. And yeah, talking honestly about my thoughts on this topic has a chance of making me look like a toxic asshole, which No, I think she wrote this very well. This is very well constructed, I, I would like say. Play. And so several times I'd start writing, scrap it, go back to it, and then restart from the beginning, all, all over again. Even here at the end, I'm not sure I've made something coherent rather than just a ramble of my personal feelings as a streamer. And maybe that's why I couldn't stop thinking about it. Because in all of the very good videos that were made about the topic, I noticed it was all from an outsider's perspective. A scholar looking in on the degenerate and filthy little lives of streamer personalities. Yeah, I guess usually people talk about... Chat being parasocial, the fans being parasocial. I think not enough people talk about the streamer actually being parasocial. And while it's one thing to hear a fellow viewer tell you that your attachment to a content creator is a good thing, it's another to hear those words from one in the flesh. So I have two things left to say. One, to the viewers around the world, whether you watch me or not, whether you've been subscribed from the beginning or you're a Mr. Beast viewer who's really f***ing confused about how you got here, I'll say on behalf <laughs> of all creators on every platform, thank you. I'm here to tell you that liking things is fine. In fact, yeah. I encourage it. Only you can Yay. look inside yourself and decide whether your admiration for someone or something has reached an 
unhealthy point, and I, for one, hey. trust you to have that maturity. You don't need to associate yourself with people who keep you don't a baby need doll a by their desk just because people throw the label parasocial around like it's a substitute for being down bad abominably. You're not a bad person for liking streamers. And you're not even a bad person for wanting to suck Fenster's toes. I mean, have her- Okay. <laughs> one wants to do that, right? But- Right? And the second right? and final thing is, I'm going to say something that needs a bit of a disclaimer. I want to make this extremely clear. I do not think the vast majority of content creators set out with the intention to form a parasocial bond with their viewers. Of course I not. I think it's just the natural it just consequence happens. of wanting to be liked, wanting to do well, and wanting our content to mean something to people. But with that being yeah. said, I'll be the first to admit, whether we as creators are aware of it or not, every single one of us ends up encouraging parasocial connections to some degree. Yeah. Is it career Definitely. suicide to come out and say that? Me and I wanna add to it that VTubers even more add to the parasocialism because it gives that kind of buffer with the avatar, right? Because it's easier to forget that there's an actual person behind it. You still shouldn't forget about that, and I think you're a little bit delulu if you do. But it's e definitely easier to forget that there's an actual person behind the avatar. I am not denying that. Encouraging parasocial connections to some degree. Is it career suicide to come out and say that? Maybe, but I'm just nah. being honest. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and say, Oh, I don't care if you never watch my content again. I hate it when people get attached to my work. I hate it when people value me and make me a part of their routine because of course I don't. I Bro, I am? I'm basically part of so many of you guys' work routine. <laughs> so many of you guys have said you're watching my videos during work, or watching me live during work. <laughs> I really hope you don't get fired for that. Please don't watch me like in secret. Only watch me at work if you are actually able to. Please don't make me responsible for you getting fired of your job. I will take no responsibility and accountability. Thank you. I like it. I get fulfillment out of it, and just like any other human, or demon-human hybrid, I'm happy that others enjoy... well... me. And at the end of the day, I don't think either the viewer or the streamer is evil. Streamers inspire the viewers, and viewers inspire the streamer to do better, to grow, yeah. and to evolve. Viewers are the streamer's yeah. greatest oh motivation, my God, and if streamers can repay those people by making them smile, laugh, or making their work shift a little easier to get through, what in the f***? What's the harm in that? Why are we so obsessed with shaming people over it? The internet is great because it gives an option to people like me, who shut down in face-to-face -face situations, the opportunity to make friends. The opportunity yeah. to be myself and speak freely. Yeah. Not without fearing rejection, because holy sh the stuff I see in some YouTube com- <laughs> Yeah though, absolutely fucking agreed, man. But kids are with your boss. <laughs> <laughs> you became my evening ritual along with Asmund? Damn. <laughs> Someone once said to me, like, I think it was while I was watching the um video, the survival video of men versus women on the survival island, right? I think uh it happened during that time when someone came in and said uh, they'd had a dilemma of whether to watch me live. Or watch my videos instead. <laughs> and that's the same feeling I had about Asmongold. Like, always, like, feeling the dilemma of either watching live or watching videos. So that just kind of ma made me feel all warm and fuzzy. Like, uh, someone actually thinking of my content that way. You know? I don't... I don't, I don't yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But while knowing that the people who do reject me are outweighed by people who support me with their whole hearts and souls. Like with most other things in life, the truth lies somewhere in the middle, somewhere between true. black and white. Paris Oops. Very true. Very cute, very cute. I have that dilemma from time to time. <laughs> I appreciate you guys either way. If you decide to watch the videos or common life i i like i appreciate the both both help youtube helps with growing youtube and twitch helps with growing twitch both are important so you can decide which one to do sometimes i rewatch on youtube 
What the hell? <laughs> what? Why? I mean, I bug when I can't get sleep, so I get that. I sometimes watch streamers too when I can't sleep. Hello, I'm a tier one sub now. Hello. <laughs> I like it here. Aww. I watch the videos if I wasn't there for life. I always feel like, damn, I missed out. Aww. I could watch what's, but what if the off chance I want to say something? Yeah, that's always true. I mostly watch art, music, and co working during work, but after I'm lurking non stop, oh my god, what have I become? Well, more happy, I guess, now that I think about it. Strange. Aww. So wholesome. Social relationships, as with literally any yeah, other okay. type of relationship, have the chance to go sour. In that sense, it's just like any other relationship. With proper boundaries and communications, things will be okay. We yeah. will be okay. And the next time I see yeah. a post about parasocial shit in the streamer sphere, I swear to fucking god if it's another blanket statement shitting on viewers for having feelings, I'm going to Anyway, I'm embarrassed <laughs> and terrified now, and that's all I had to say about that, so bye, alright, talk to you later. <laughs> Aww. Great video. Great video. True, true, true. Uh, how do I turn the anecdotes off? Uh, I'm in mode. Stable volume? Huh? Eh? Eh? Oh well. So here's a kind of reminder that you help make your favorite streamer's dream come true. True! Streamers would be nothing without the viewers. 100%. Absolutely fucking true. No matter who it is, I'm sure they appreciate you, even if they can't. At the local glory hall with... What? Chat, where do I turn off anecdotes? Can't you turn that off anymore? Oh well. See, Chetty, we matter. <laughs> if I get bad, I'm full fonting 50 50. <laughs> and to all those who support me, the stupid degenerate Lucy. Yeah, thank you. Davado. It might be somewhere, yeah, somewhere for sure. I don't know, I thought it would be here. It's gone. It's gone. If the mods matter, when do we get paid in food? You got food downstairs in the basement. The ants have plenty of protein. Stop complaining. Stop complaining. Bitch. <laughs>